Hi, this video shows you how you can set up Marvelous Me for the new school year using the transitioning feature in the group management section of your admin system. Uh, it should take you about 15 minutes and it's an ideal way to do it for small to medium sized schools uh, where your registration classes are not being mixed up. So in other words, where children in class one move in their entirety to class two and so on. Now it's really important you do two um, prior things before doing the group transitions. You need to check that all the teachers are correct in the system. So have you deleted anyone who's left? Have you added any new staff? And have you updated any names or emails? And secondly, you need to make sure there's no temporary UPNs for any children in the system. So to check if you need to make any changes to the staff, go to data export and then view the new year data template. And this shows you all the staff currently set up in Marvelous Me. So you can see their names and their email address. So it should be easy to see if anyone needs any amendments or if you need to delete anybody from the system or you need to add any new members of staff. And you make all of these changes in the teachers and pupils section of the admin system. So you can search for a teacher by their surname or toggle the type column and if you need to change their details tap edit and you can change their name and email address if you need to delete anybody just tap delete and confirm it and if you need to add a teacher just tap the add teacher and add the new member of staff you don't need to assign them to a class yet particularly if you haven't uh, transitioned that group and you need to make up a password for them and give them that password so they can log into Marvelous Me. So just remember what the password is uh, so you can give it to them when you next see them. Okay, so that's getting the teachers up to date. And then just to see if you've got any fake UPNs for any children, again, go into data export, but this time tap the pupils file. And this will show you all the children in the system and their UPN. And it should be quite easy to spot any child whose UPN is temporary or fake. So there's my example here. So just take a note of the child's name and then go back into your Marvelous Me system, back into teachers and pupils, and then search for that child. And then tap edit next to their name and then just update their UPN to the official one. It's important you do that so that the parents have a seamless uh, experience with Marvelous Me every school year. Okay, so once you've done those two bits of uh, preparation, you're then ready to go into group management and transition all your classes for the new school year. So what you'll see here is all the classes set up currently in the system, the children and the class owner. So the first thing you need to do is remove all the children that have left the school. So typically this would be year six, for instance. So if you go into year six, tap action and then tap edit group and remove children from the school. That will do exactly what it says. It will delete the children from the Marvelous Me system and leave you an empty group called class six that you can then transition class five in my example two. If you delete a group, that won't remove the children from the school. That will just delete the group as an entity. So what we're going to do here is remove class six because they've now left the school. And I tap empty and then confirm it. And that will leave me with class six, but without any children. And those children have now been deleted fully from the system. And then I want to go into class five because now these children are moving up into class six. So tap action, transition, and I'm choosing here, transition class five into the class six shell and tap next and confirm it and then save my changes. So now we can see I've got no children left in class five. So that, sh that uh, class has become an empty shell and those children have now moved into their new class, class six. And I just do this for all of the classes at the school. So class four now becomes class five and I transition those, save them. And then again, that leaves class four now empty and class five has its new cohort of children. And then the same for class three, moving into class four, transition those and it's done. And then I want to transition class two into class three. And then I want to transition class one into class two. And then I want to transition reception 
into class one. And then finally, I want to transition my nursery children into their new reception class. Okay, so that has all of the groups now in place and it leaves me an empty shell to add um, my new intake. So adding my new intake is really easy, but it's best to do this when your MIS has the children logged with their correct UPN. If you do it with any fake UPNs, you'll have to remember to manually update those UPNs uh, as soon as the official ones become available so that next year the parents won't need to join up again. Um, so to add children uh, the new intake in bulk, it's very easy. So if you go into the nursery and tap edit and then tap add pupils, you want to choose the option add pupils by pasting a CSV list. Now what you need to do in your MIS is run a report that has the children's name, so the first and last name in column A, their UPM in column B, and obviously their class or group in column C. So it's important you have the first and last name together. If your MIS puts the first and last names in two different columns, then in our school bag you'll find a name configurator tool that will help you join them together. But once you've got your new cohort looking like this in a spreadsheet, you can just copy their names and UPN. So I'm not copying the headers, just their names and UPN. So I'm selecting those, edit, copy. And if I'm back into my Marvelous Me, I can paste them into this box here. Tap next. And now that will add those children to the nursery class and to Marvelous Me. Uh, so you'll now also have the parent join codes for those new children to give to their parents to get them to join up. So that's pretty much it. We've got all our classes now with their new children. We've got the new intake in nursery. The only other thing to make sure we do is uh, make sure the right teachers are uh, assigned to the right classes. So if you tap action and edit, this is where you can see the teachers. So tap the teachers tab and you'll see the owner of that class and any other teacher who's been assigned to it. And you can easily add other teachers by tapping the add teacher option here. And if there's a new class owner for that group, so now maybe that class is owned by Mr. Green, make them the owner and tap add. And if Miss class one is no longer linked to that class, you can remove them and you can assign other teachers in the same way. So a couple of things there, only one owner can be assigned to a class. So even though you might have teachers who share a class, just link one of them as the owner and then just add the other owner, sorry, add the other teacher um, through the add teachers option. Um, and uh, once you've done that, you should see the correct owner with their class name and with the children in it. And if you need to change the class name for any reason, again, just tap edit and change the class name. And if you want to, you can um, decide what, to, or you can state what year group that class belongs to. Uh, the group years only really shows in some of the reporting options, so not many schools change that, but it's there if you want to state which year each class is for. Um, but that's pretty much it. Then we would just recommend you do some spot checks, so just make sure you've got the right children in each class. So just double checking everything is correct. So we've got all the right children in class four, and we've got the relevant teachers assigned to it and so on. Um, if you see any children that have actually left the school midterm, so they're not classed as the year six leavers, for instance, but they might have just left the school because the family might have moved away. So for instance, if Dominic Fox has moved away, you could remove him from this group here. Um, so he won't show in the teacher app for that class, but it's also very important to delete them from the system here in teachers and pupils. Dominic Fox. So, um, so yes, yeah, so if you delete him in teachers and pupils, then he'll be completely deleted from the system as well. So that's important if any child's left the school um, as well. Okay, so that's all the group management done. So you've now got your system all set up with its new teachers. You've, you've deleted teachers who have left. You've amended any uh, teacher names or emails. You've made sure there's no fake UPNs in the system, or if they are, you've made a note of those so you can update them later on. You've transitioned all the classes. You've removed year six from last year and deleted them from the system. You've assigned uh, teachers and stated any new owner for that group. And you've deleted any sporadic children that might have left the school for many of those classes going forward. 
and you've added the new intake. So all of that was quite straightforward and hopefully doesn't cause you any problems. If you do need any help, please get in touch. And then it's just really following through a few final actions. Um, so there's sort of five things to think about just to make sure you get a really good start. So one is to give the new teachers that you've added their passwords. Um, and in our instruction guide, you'll even find some sample text that you can copy and paste and just add their passwords so those teachers can log in, see their classes and start using Marvelous Me. Uh, you then want to make sure all the teachers have got access to all the classes they use. So if you're going to teach some pupils as well, uh, you might just want to double check that the head teacher has got access to all the classes they work with. Um, this is where you can also search for any teacher. And if you want to, for instance, give class two access to other classes, you can do that as well. Um, so that's how you can assign the teachers. So that's important to make sure they can all use Marvelous Me with the right classes. Uh, then you want to make sure the relevant people are set up for their weekly snapshot. So this is an email that we send out to all the teachers in SLT every Monday morning, and it summarizes how well everyone is using Marvelous Me and how well they're telling parents specifically about learning and praise and how consistent it is across the whole school. So it's quite important everyone gets this email. So if you tap weekly snapshot recipients, you just want to make sure that everyone is selected who you want to get that email. So typically it is the SLT and the main class teachers, but it is an important feature of Marvelous Me to keep um, teacher usage consistent. And then finally, you want to check your quick links. So these quick links are one tap links in the parent app to typically your website, your term times, but they can be any links you might want parents to go to. So lots of schools add in a link to their newsletter page, any class pages, payment systems, uh, and we're also seeing lots of links to um, learning resources, so such as TT Rockstars. So for instance, if I wanted to add TT Rockstars as a link, so a quick way for parents to access it, I can go to that website, copy the web address or the URL, and then add it as a custom link. So I'll give it the name TT Rockstars, choose an icon, copy the link, and then just following my instructions up here, deleting the HTTPS, and then saving that, and that will now show in the parents app as a one tap link so they can quickly get to TT Rockstars. So these are good, they just make life a bit easier for parents. And then finally, you want to check your school badges. So Marvelous Me is a really good way to engage and involve parents in your values, your rewards, and any learning skills or powers that you're trying to encourage with the children. Um, so when you give a badge, it pings on the parent's phone and they can obviously see their children's success and reinforce that strong, positive behavior. So the badges you set up here are the ones that the teachers will see consistently and see them first in their app. And you can then track how often these badges are being awarded by class, by group, by house, by year, uh, by lots of different filters and time periods. So it's worth checking with the head or the SLT what badges you want in Marvelous Me. And then you can easily add your badge label. So we'll just call this new badge. You can choose one of our icons or you can even upload your own pictures. And then you save that badge and that's one that the teachers will see really quickly. And then finally, your last action is just to go into parent join codes and you want to make sure you've got the invitation letters for all the parents that are still to join up. So obviously that will be for the new intake, but it's a great chance to remind parents that haven't joined yet uh, to get on board. So here you want to choose parents still to join at the top and then go through one class at a time and then you can either print those letters or you can download them onto a spreadsheet and do an email um, mail merge. But it's important you do parents still to join and if you print them all one group at a time, you'll have, uh, you'll have them nicely stacked that you can give to the relevant teacher to hand out uh, for the children to take home. Uh, and it's worth doing those parent reminders as often as you can. Our average parent take across all the schools is 90%. Uh, so you know, if you keep doing those reminders, you'll really maximize your parent engagement. And you know with Marvelous Me that when they get those messages, it's going to make them smile and it's going to give them positive news about their children's learning and progress. OK, so I hope that helps. If you've got any questions at all, please get in touch with us. You've got our email address at the top and our phone number and we'll do our absolute best to help you. Uh, if you'd rather try uploading your school data through the bulk data upload, um, then feel free to get in touch if you need any help, or you can send us the uh, prepared data file and we'll upload it for you.
Okay, thanks.